Hi, my name is Dr. Matt Winter and I'm a urological surgeon. I am pleased to welcome you to this video discussing vasectomy. The aim of this video is to describe the procedure, detail the expected post-operative recovery, outline the possible complications and the follow-up that I'll be performing. The purpose of this presentation is to help you and your family better prepare for your upcoming operation. Vasectomy is a procedure in which the ductus deferens, also called the vas, are cut and blocked. The vas are the tubes that carry sperm from the testicles to the urethra penis to then allow sperm to pass out during ejaculation. The procedure can be carried out under local or general anesthesia depending upon your anatomy and personal preference. If you have a local anesthetic, you'll be given an injection to numb the area. You will however feel some discomfort during the operation. You will feel some pain, feel unwell, lightheaded or sweaty. If I'm of the opinion that the tubes are a little difficult to feel, I will offer the operation under general anesthesia. And general anesthesia is my preferred method of performing vasectomy. The procedure generally takes around 30 minutes and you can go home shortly after the procedure. A vasectomy should be viewed as an irreversible procedure and therefore should only be undertaken if you are certain you do not wish to father any more children. I strongly advise that your partner is invited to the discussion prior to performing a vasectomy. You must inform me if you are taking any regular medications or any blood thinning medications. After the operation, you will be kept for a short time in the clinic or the hospital until you are deemed safe to go home. Do not be alarmed if your scrotum appears a little inflamed or bruised, this will improve over time. Let my staff know if you are in any discomfort, please do not drive for 24 hours and rest up at home for one to two days. Take simple pain relief such as Panadol and Nurofen to prevent pain and wear supportive underwear for one week. Applying ice to the scrotum can help to reduce the pain and inflammation. You will be able to return to full activities if you wish, including intercourse when the bruising has settled and you are pain free, which is approximately two weeks after the procedure. You will still be able to ejaculate after the operation, but you may notice a slight decrease in ejaculate volume as the sperm is no longer mixed with the majority of ejaculate, which is from the seminal vesicles. The success rate of vasectomy. Well, there is a 99.5% success rate. There is a one in 200 chance of early failure. That is the presence of sperm at three to six months. There is a one in 2000 chance of late failure, which is when the vas rejoins spontaneously. This occurs very rarely, and there's no way to predict this. This can happen months to years after the vasectomy. What are the risks? Common risks greater than one in 10 are bruising and swelling of the scrotum or penis for several days. Your wound may be a little weepy. There may be a seepage of a small amount of clear or yellow fluid for several days after the vasectomy. There can be some blood in the semen for the first few ejaculations. Occasional risks, which occur in 1 in 50, are significant bleeding or bruising requiring further surgery, inflammation or infection of the testis or epididymis, chronic testicular pain or pain on intercourse. The rare risks, which are present in less than 1 in 50, are early or late failure, rejoining of the ends of the vas after negative sperm count, testicular loss, granulomas, which are lumps of tissue that can occur, and a hydrocele. What will my post-operative recovery be like? Be aware that you are not sterile immediately after the operation. Usually it takes around 20 to 30 ejaculations to clear all live sperm. Pregnancies have been attributed to unprotected intercourse during the immediate post-operative period. Pregnancy risk is roughly 0.1% after vasectomy. Post-vasectomy testing should be conducted three months after vasectomy. You cannot return to unprotected sexual intercourse until you have a repeat semen analysis three to four months post vasectomy showing no live sperms. I will advise you when it is safe to proceed with unprotected intercourse. It is important to notify my rooms or an attendant emergency department if you develop a temperature, increased redness, bruising, or enlarged scrotum. Be aware mild redness, bruising, and inflammation is expected. If you have any throbbing or experiencing any significant side effects, please contact my rooms and I will touch base with you. I hope you found this video informative and I trust it has better equipped you and your family to prepare for your upcoming operation. I am available to answer any questions you may have or you can contact my office if you have any concerns. I look forward to helping you resolve your urological problems, performing the operation and caring for you during the recovery.